but I don't I, know what would be gained in that specific situation. You know. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? It wasn't the right time. Ah, some... Because it's your baby, Ellie. <laughs> there you go. What, do you know how she says it wasn't the right time to tell him the truth? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that moment what back then. What about this? Mm -hmm. Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Wait, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Yep. Thank you for the bit sent. Sagittary user Pentaria has been watching you for a while on YouTube. Glad I can finally catch a stream. Thanks for the awesome content. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. If I follow Route 5, that should take me to the hospital. Um, I know I've said this before, but I really... I do understand. Follow Route 5. Track down Nora. Get her to tell me where Abby is. I do. Easy. Understand Joel's motivation. And honestly, a little bit on his side of never. A, never telling Ellie. And B, saving Ellie's life over everyone else's. Mm -hmm. Because that whole game, even the color schemes and the color theory and the environmental design showed that humanity was trash. The only time you see color in Joel's life in the game and happiness is when he's with Ellie. Every other human interaction he has is like they put it in grayscale every time they show humans and they're always doing the worst shit possible. Why would you want to save humanity? Go. Like, m most people are like, oh, save humanity. But like, He's seen and been the worst of humanity. Why would he want to save it when, like, he has found somebody who's actually worth living? Does that make sense? You know, some other people were pointing out that even if they managed to create a cure based on Ellie, logistically, how do you distribute it? get through how do you make enough to give to all the people how do you get it to them exactly like and there's yeah and i don't think joel was even really thinking about that i think joel was just like everyone here is fucking trash and he was right jacksonville pretty much the only place where everyone is in a complete piece of shit tell you what tell you what tell you what tell you what there's Jackson, but that is an exception that proves some, that proves some of the rules. Plus, you don't need a cure to save humanity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Humanity needs to save itself by changing its behavior. That's just my opinion, though. Yeah. Like, and I think a lot of people are just, by default, and it's valid to think this, that... <laughs> Thank you for scripting those subs, Toby Jax. Thank you for being so generous this stream, too. Aww. Really appreciate it. And I appreciate everyone's generosity and kindness. Mm -hmm. um, it's totally valid to just default being like, saving humanity is the correct thing to do. Because, obviously, saving human lives is the right thing to do. But, it's just, when you see it so fucked up, it's hard to be like, yeah, this is fine. You know? 
Do you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of how like the 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 default of a lot of people is that we must like procreate and continue like in a lot of like sci-fi or like oh like we're like the last human people around blah 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 like they're always like but we have to repopulate we have to continue civilization and it's like why 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 is this something worth continuing yeah it's just or it yeah or you can live happy lives and have children when you want to and if that repopulates things, that's good. If it doesn't, that's fine. Yeah. Because the point of being alive is to enjoy life, not to have some weird... Like, like I must pass on my genes, which, like, I understand that that's, like, a... It's just, it's... Inter <laughs> this scared me. It's just, it's interesting how, like, that becomes, good like, day. an argument for people. At that hospital. And it's, like... Were people not animals? Like, you can't just force people to repopulate. Like, you know how many, like, of these, like, apocalypse things, they always have the cult with the guy who's like, I have to have sex okay. with 20 Progress. women mm -hmm. to repopulate and start our own community, but really it's just me fucking a bunch of women. Mm hmm That's, like, a, an extremely common apocalypse premise because you know some dipshit would do it. If the this society... some dipshit, dipshit already does it. Already does it. They're like, yeah. So. I, yeah. It's like, I feel like the more you see shit like that, the less you're like, it's like, is, is perpetuating this really the goal? Or is it just to like survive and ha like try to have a good life with the people that you love and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Cause what is the point? I just don't think the survival of the human race, okay, what about it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and also, like, the cure doesn't guarantee humanity's survival. People will still continue even without it. And it's, oh, there's a noose there. It seems like this was on purpose. No, 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 this is Scar's, all right, yeah. Scars did it, and also you can tell that his stomach had been ripped open in a way. Mm -hmm. See his shirt? Mm. Yeah, so they must have done that on purpose to be like, okay, but like, they cut his stomach open. Um, so yeah, this is a Scars crime. Feel her love. The fuck? <gasps> the Thank you for donating two hundred dollars, Lachis. You're both pretty cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. So, Everyone's been so generous today, and we really appreciate it. And Toby Jax has been giving us tons of money today. Thank you and so Prince much. And Prince Kyler just donated two more gift subs. Thank you. Oh Thank my you. goodness. It. We are very humbled by this. Everybody's so cute and nice. And, and uh, we know everyone's going through difficult times, so we appreciate the time it takes. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the gift subs. Um, we appreciate the time it takes and the energy it takes to make that money and to mm -hmm. give it to us. We we really we really value how much work it takes to make money and to give it to us. So thank you so much. Thank you. It's really much appreciated. Gay Chicken says the gays are at it again, being the best. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, do, do, do. we go down. Fuck the WLF. So on this page, she's drawing Jesse. Jesse's here. Do, 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 do. This is good. He can help protect Dina. It felt good having him around to deal with the WLF. Oh, thank you, Sea Salty Bye. For $10, thank you so much. I'm super glad you guys explained how to donate because I had no fucking clue. I've been <laughs> way wanting to find other ways to support you guys besides just buying off of you guys' you guys' Etsy and bits just confuse me. I love you guys and your content. Well, thank you so much for buying from our Etsy. It's to be really fair, helpful. we can never figure out bits either, so <laughs> we appreciate that. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being supportive of our Etsy. And are we allowed to talk about your OF? Yeah, that's fine. I didn't yeah. know if it was against terms of service, so I didn't want to get in trouble. I don't think so. I think it's like, like it's eighteen plus, just like 
I think that covers it. If you go to Stacy's Twitter, you will find a place for cool things. I don't know. I'm, like, scared. I'm no, scared. No, no, I think we're allowed to say it. I can't, like, put a link on here. But, like, if you, like, if you are interested in spicy content and lewds and sometimes cosplays, you can find it on, if you go to my Twitter profile, there's a link to my OnlyFans, and you can find it there. I'm I'm worried though that they'll that we will get banned for saying like you can talk about the concept of it, but I don't know if you can say like this I mean, is where you can find my stuff. Oh, we've mentioned it like a million times before. So, but that was on YouTube videos. No, we've and, mentioned and it podcasts. on Twitch too. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we've or I we're not trying to break any rules. Please don't ban us. Yeah. There's just been so many bans lately. I'm afraid that people are being more extra strict. Yeah. That's all. I mean. To be technical, it's all censored anyway oh, on the main page. I don't look, so, <laughs> uh, but I am supportive. So, like, I say 18 plus because I don't want anyone in there that's not supposed to be, but, like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, and we've mentioned it on stream before. All right, cool. I think, I think, yeah, I know that you're not supposed to post links. Okay. Because, I don't know, whatever, but. Uh, Jesse here, this is good. You mentioned it this stream. <laughs> no, we talked about OnlyFans as a concept. Oh, yes. But we didn't talk about... Mine. ...a direct link to it, so it's, I don't it's, know. It's 90 plus only. Yeah, 90 years old only. Feel her love. Who the fuck are these people? Why did they do this? They've just been so strict lately that I just don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. You're also welcome to, like, just ask me questions about it if you want to know more about it and we don't, I don't know. What? Now Mari's nervous about talking about it, but it's okay. No, I don't want to be, I don't want to make you feel shamed about it, No, no, I'm not ashamed. It's okay. I just, I don't want to make you feel, like, worried. That's all. I, I just don't want anyone to have any reason to, like, ban us right now because Twitch is being so, like, hyper-vigilant. No, we just get, we just get uh, men coming in, yelling at us on Twitter, being like, "You sluts!" I don't even correct them. I just, I just like, okay. You know, and it's funny because I feel like there might have been a point, like, a long time ago, where it's like, if somebody had said that shit to me, I would have been like, "Hey, like that's not true," blah 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 blah. And now I'm like, "What of it?" Damn it. Stuff in there. There's treasure in there. Alright, so like, I have a rope. I don't know. I am just so not here for people making moral judgments about other people's like sex lives. Whether it's like I don't know. I don't like it when people make fun of virginity. I don't like it when people make fun of people for being slutty. I think you should be able to do either one and it's totally fine, you know? It just makes me fucking mad. What is this? What is the point of this rope right here? Maybe I should break this. Stacy is now a rugged internet user. How dare you own your body in sex positivity and profit off of it? How dare you? Yes. Yeah, virgin shaming, it ain't right. Sometimes I accidentally do it, but mostly that's just to insult people for calling me a slut. So I feel like it's okay then, but it's probably not. Mm. Um, but there's plenty of people. People always ask me, like, am I weird because I haven't had sex yet? And I'm like, I've had sex with people who are in their 30s and had never had sex Throw before. Throw the rope up there? Where you th- Up where? Hold on. Oh. Oh, maybe you're supposed to, like, loop it. And then climb up so you can get to that. Loop is it. Is that what it what is? What do you mean, loop it? Is it supposed to? What does loop it mean? Hold on. Look out the window up left. Uh, that thing way over there. Wait, where? Oh, I see. Um. Wait. I, I don't know how that. No, helps, I don't but think I'm... break. You need to break that glass too. I can't. What? Wait. I don't think that's it. Hold on. Let's, uh, let me just think about this for a minute. Wait, hold on. Look up at the thing for a second. 
can you break the glass and then like loop that through it so that you can swing over there? Yes, I can. I can do that. And I got—I have to break that glass too. So just give me a sec. Yeah. Uh. go thank you for the help dean is not here to tell us the answer so <laughs> help girlfriend help mm -hmm. mm. <gasps> okay i thought she would grab onto it but that's okay <laughs> And uh, thank you again for those $200, and thank you to again, Toby Jacks, for, like, the billion dollars, and thank you again for the $10, and thank you, everyone, for subscribing and giving bits and being so helpful. <laughs> Ooh, this is glass and scared. I do want to say that All right. what we got? as rough as quarantine has been, it's been really nice coming on to... St I, feel like, I feel like people have been even more, like... Not that our community was not loving and supportive before, but I feel like it's been, like, extra so during quarantine, or maybe I'm just so sad that, like, the positivity just feels, like, extra a lot, you know? It's like... No, it's good. We, yeah. We're definitely benefiting from cultivating a very good community for years, and then they build on each other, and they're super cool. Gale Price. What? Shift. It's just, it's, it's made me feel like, you know, always, like, happy to come on streams, and, like, even when I am, like, not having a great day, and I'm kind of like, uh, like, every time I, every time we stream, like, I usually feel better afterwards, and it's just, you know... I feel like everyone always talks about how we give them like a safe place and uh, you all give us a safe place too. All right, so I did it. Do I keep going up or did I, is this just a little side thing? It's a lot of good trash in here though. Need, bandages, painkillers, days. Oh, someone was holed up in here for a long time. Hmm. Wait, so what do they need? Vitamins, antacids, thermometer, pillows. They're like, I got heartburn. It was, someone was probably pregnant if they needed vitamins. Hmm. Or maybe just, my first thought was just, they don't have a lot of food. Thank you oh. for uh, gifting a tier one tier, Pinkle Foo, for, to the community. Thank you so much. It was really appreciated. Thank you. Climbing up, or is there more to go? No. I really appreciate you taking the time to oppose huh. gender critical nonsense the other day. Yeah, no problem. Like, bare minimum. Bare minimum we could do. Yeah. Uh, just a quick reminder don't forget about Black Lives Matter. Just, you know, quick, quick reminder. Mm hmm. And there we go. Hey, I guess that was. That was it. I guess I just just move on. A back. <gasps> just a reminder: every time we say a back, we do have to remember that Black Lives Matter is still a thing. Oh, wait. <gasps> Pro Chim says I have literally only bought bits to support this channel. This might sound weird or cringy, but you two do. Pr I lost it. it. It went away. You two. You, you two do provide a really safe space in an often toxic community. I think it's fair to say Geek Remix is an important channel. Also, a back. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all Your right. Your legacy survives. Can I get a quick spam of Black Lives Matter? I just don't, I, I, I just want to make sure that if we make a back, you know, we got to make sure to also 
talk about Black Lives Matter. Mm-hmm. Oh, and earlier, I don't know if this person is still here, but earlier when you were asking about the name thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank oh. you for the bids. Ashikai, Royal Korea, Prince Ka- Oh, my God. Prince oh, my God. Gifted subs. Oh, my gosh. There's oh my so God, many things happening? happening. Okay, Rowan Carey says five. It says Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Chris Matter. Chris get to 10 subs. Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much. Sorry if we missed it. It went by really fast. Somebody else went. Oh, Asher Kai. Mm-hmm. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the gift subs, too. Thank you. You guys are so nice. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, Somebody was, when you were asking about the name thing, somebody was asking about where we came up with the name for Geek Remix. Um, I was trying to find an unused name for a website because if a name had already been used it cost like two thousand dollars to buy because the original idea for geek remix okay full story i in 2000 whenever the fuck this channel started i was just like so sick of writing for 2013 i was so sick of writing for a bunch of misogynistic like small indie um uh, game journalist places I was just like tired of it because every time I went to a place I'd be like no guys I'm like totally cool with misogyny I can I can roll it wasn't even any of the major outlets you're talking no, about no, like, no. yeah no it wasn't any of the major outlets so I'm not calling anyone out yeah promise um, I, you know it kind of was always the expectation for girls just to be like yeah I'm cool with hating women mm-hmm. you know and I couldn't I just like never could do it and it's I was the, just it's tired the, of I'm it. not one of the girls. Like, I yeah. am special. And I just couldn't take it anymore. And I don't hate any of the people I used Think to. They're fine. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just grabbing this stuff. But I just couldn't take it anymore. And I don't hate any of the people I used to work with. It was just like, it just, I couldn't. And the internet was so different back then. And I just, there was no place for a very sensitive baby like me to exist. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to do my own thing. And I'm going to start my own website. And it's going to be social justice warrior as fuck. And I'm going to do whatever I want to do. And I don't have to compromise what I want to write in order to appease a bunch of men who just think everything I say is stupid and so I was trying to look up names that hadn't been taken up yet and um And it was just... (laughs) And I was just looking up names that hadn't been taken yet for websites. And I just wrote down a bunch of words. And I was like, okay, so I like fantasy. What about forever fantasy? That doesn't work. Geek? No. Geek remix? There we go. (laughs) Woods, here's the list of deserters. Ji Ho- I don't know. Ji we, so Hong. I don't think we have to read all that. It's just a bunch of descriptions of people. Uh-huh. We know some of the supplies they stole contain weapon. Toby Jacks just donated eighty five dollars. <laughs> I tried to give twenty subs, but my fucking card was being dumb. Ugh, oh, love you, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Toby Jacks. Aw. Everyone's being so generous today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Aw. Thank you, Toby Jacks. Thank it's you. really appreciated. Thank you. Um uh, Thank you. Everyone's being so kind today. Oh. Thank you for all of the gift subs. So many gift subs. Did we just personally thank the person who gave us those gift subs just now? Kyler, yeah. Kyler did that? Mm-hmm. just want to double check because I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Uh, it's Prince Ky- Skyler. Th- thank you. Just, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just, it gets in my head and I can't stop. Um, yeah. We know some of the supplies they stole contained weapons. Be careful. While it's preferable to capture them alive, do not risk your lives. Any sign of danger, you have my permission to take them out. 
Um, if they wanted to leave, we could have worked something out, but desertion combined with stealing cannot be tolerated. We need to make an example here. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. Good luck, Isaac. Uh, thank you for the bits, Becca Bunnies. Love you guys. Stay awesome. Black Lives Matter. Thank you. And also, Aoshakai Ao asked you, would you guys ever consider doing a mukbang? Isn't um, a mukbang just eating a bunch of food? Uh, thank you, Blue Shirt Six One Six. I can't do any. I can't do anywhere near as much, but it's still supporting. That's no, no, no. still a lot. Any amount is is. Like, yeah, any amount. Yeah. We appreciate. We understand the value of your time and money. So any amount is good. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's still valid. Even if you don't give anything at all, we still appreciate it. It's still helpful. Your time is valuable and helps us in the algorithms and everything. So we appreciate it no matter what. Thank you. Um, a mukbang. I think. I think it's just like eating a lot of food, which might not be. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's for me. Uh, I also do, like it. I'm I'm confused. Like, is it just like? Hold on. No, it's it's binge eating. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Not to be judgmental, but it just it's not for everybody. Yeah. I don't think that would be very much fun for me. Yep, that's fair. Could have just opened the door this whole time. Well, at least I got to set everyone on fire. Also, like, it's like it's like having dinner together. I don't. Know. Oh, thank you for the gift subs, Ada Man. Oh, and somebody just, another person subscribed. LOL, didn't really know what I got myself into years back when I started watching the shitty looks, but I'm so glad to have stumbled upon this community. Thank you, KNVS46. Thank you. And thank you, Adamant, for all the gift subs. Thank you. That's really appreciated. You guys are being really generous, and we appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I don't know why everyone's being so nice, but it's great, and I love it. <laughs> it's because I'm wearing my Christmas shirt. It has to be so it. So they're giving us gifts. That's everyone, what, everyone. This is Santa. <laughs> everyone has been so nice during the quarantine. It's so good. I love it. It's good content. Mm -hmm. It's because you two are nice. We try our Aww. best. <laughs> Pay it forward, baby. Merry summer Christmas. Merry, Merry Crisis, Happy New Fear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just going to be the first six months, and then the second six months, um... Oh, God. The aliens come to save us and teach us how to have to fix everything. <laughs> oh, no. You know what's going to happen is that by the time the aliens show up... They're going to, like, never mind. You just know what's going to happen? We're going to have put our guard down, because we're going to be so beaten into the dirt. That we're gonna be like, save us aliens, and they're just gonna wipe us out. Here, here's my fear. I'm scared of saying this out loud, but what if Star Trek storyline is true? <laughs> Where the world goes into complete disaster, and just some guy in his garage invented a warp drive. Oh, yeah, and, and then, then fight, stumbles across aliens? No, no, because the warp drive signal went off, there was Vulcans nearby. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, 93 Stardust! You guys have a fantastic community that I can vibe with and feel related to and safe. Thank Aww. you, 93 Stardust, for the, for the money. Thank you so much. That's really helpful to, like, everything. Thank you. Yeah, so he invented the warp drive and just, like, shot himself into space and stumbled across aliens, basically. Well, the aliens stumbled across him. Because the Vulcans just happened to be doing a scan nearby, mm -hmm. and they saw them on the thing, because the laws and rules in Starfleet is that you cannot interact with a civilization until you either suspect they're about to come up with warp drive te technology, or you witness them making warp drive technology. And that is the, that is when you get invited into Starfleet. Before then, you're not allowed to interact at all. Thank you so much for the bits, Ashokai. This is why I want to build my own colony in Antarctica and make new progressive society. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Visitor Q, did you guys ever watch Hey Ash, What You Playing? I did with Ashley Birch. They did a SJW Women Are Cool People video as an action trailer. <laughs> yeah, I used to love Hey Ash, What You Playing. 
Like, that's how I found out about her. And she was like, I don't know, they did a lot of really good commentary on things. And I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going because we came in this way. I already looted. No, we came in through the 7 Eleven. All right, yeah. so we can come this way. I suppose I meant that, uh, what's his face? He didn't go out there looking for aliens. Oh. He literally was just like, I built this thing in my garage. I'm just going to fucking get drunk and set it off. <laughs> like it's a fucking firework. Can you imagine being a Vulcan? In case you don't follow Star Trek, Vulcans are like really serious and no fun. And they just find this trash man. Hey guys. And they're like, I guess we have to invite them to Starfleet. God. And basically, Starfleet saved humanity because this one guy made a warp drive in his garage. Because humanity... from Cochran. Yeah. Yeah, because humanity was literally living in an apocalypse until that guy made a warp drive and Vulcans were like, God, I guess we have to, like, hang out with these guys. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so he's played by James Cromwell and he's basically kind of like a drunk fuck-up. Which is kind of great, because he's kind of like, whatever, blah. You and know what I think is extremely interesting is that humanity really did have to go through a complete societal collapse. Thank you for the bits, Audio Rat. Da all the love. Thank you so much. That's really appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> is that society had to go through a complete collapse for them to accept the utopian socialist society that was Starfleet, or is Starfleet? Yeah, well, because they talk about that, is it in DS9, where they visit, like, around our time, and they're like, yes, and then, like, they, you know, they travel, they time travel to, like, our time period, and that's when they're like, yes, and everything completely fell apart, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And, and they've that also was before had... they, basic before people would accept, like, huge changes think if i'm remembering right was that also the one where they had to go back in time to save the whales because the no, because no, the no, aliens no. would only talk to the whales what that there's a there's a star trek movie they have that, to... i said ds9 oh, okay but i like didn't that also wow happen it's like in you the weren't even ones? listening to me about which star trek we were talking but about. i was adding saying wasn't that also what happened in the whale one no okay uh, Wales was Star Trek Four. That was like during the '90s when they were on that when the war, when the U.S. was on that conservation save the whales kick. So they literally made a Star Trek movie about saving the whales. It's a good movie. It is. It is <laughs> because the aliens would only talk to the whales because they only thought the whales were valid intelligence. So they had to go back in time, get whales, and bring them to the future and put in the oceans of the Earth so that the whales could tell them they, to they not destroy the planet. Mari, please go in the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is, what's, is that blood on the floor? And by the way, I'm actually not anti-capitalist, but I'm also anti-everyone just being like, just don't give any rules or laws whatsoever. And I'm like, maybe some rules, some laws, maybe make it so people don't starve to death. Oh, thank you, Emily Page. Emily Page, sending you guys love from Australia. Thank you so much. I think you still have the volume turned down on the game. Oh, well, nothing's happening, so that's why I have it down. <sighs> yeah. Um, if that's okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's bothering anyone. Might be. Um, there was also an episode, I can't remember if it, if it was the original one or Next Generation, where they uncover a satellite filled with um, cryogenically frozen people, and because it's the future, they're mm -hmm. able to revive them, but none of the people are able to adjust to the new culture, because one of them was like, yeah, I have tons of money everywhere, and everyone's like, so what? Yeah. We don't have money Well, they're anymore. all like, yeah, money doesn't exist, by the way. <laughs> uh, we have a message from Prince Kyler. He says, Jackson is cute, but it's a secret. Don't tell him that I know. Okay, nobody tell Jackson. Nobody tell Jackson. All right, so this door is blocked. There's this thing, and then this thing. Okay, I think I, think I know what I need to do. Maybe. All right, so there's a thing I can pick up over there, which I think is implying to say... Hey, you can you can do something. So I think my strategy is going to be okay. Yeah. There we go. 
smart. Okay, now that I'm up here, oh, there's a button. Can I? <clears throat> no, do, I mean, maybe you can climb on this thing. Ah, uh, right, I see that. one of these things, or was that it? I think that was it. Okay, well, what was the point of that? Is this not where I need to go? So I'm up here. Uh, are we just looting buildings right now? Gravity is the key to this puzzle. But I'm... Puzzle. Where but are I'm we trying... Hold on. Where are we trying to... Just loots? Or... What? Are we supposed to be going somewhere? Right. So she said, I need to get in there. So I got in there. Now I'm in there. Is this it? I don't uh, want to jump down. All right. I'm just going to press a bunch of buttons and see if she jumps on anything. Um... All right. Well, that's okay. There may be some signs that have some clues. Okay, well, let me just see. Now you want to leave this room. Okay, I don't wanna. Ah. LOL, they so lost without their girlfriend. Yeah, well. I see what I need to do. Oh, yeah. All right, just give me a sec. Don't tell me what to, what to do. Sometimes I like to solve the puzzle. I don't know. Sometimes I'm not given a chance to think about it. And I appreciate all the help always. I promise. I just... <sighs> nope. 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 Too fast. Just one... Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Cool. That actually worked. That was pretty smart, Ellie. Yay, I did it! I am smart now. Thank you for the hints, by the way. That did help. And I don't want to seem unappreciative because I definitely am appreciative. Okay, now that I have this out here. Okay, I see. Um, I always appreciate all the hints and the help. Yeah. I feel like the good timing for hints is when you get, like, okay. stuck and you're not sure what to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people are a little, a little, uh... Ahead of the curve. A little ahead of the curve with the hints, where, like, before you even got to the puzzle, they're like, oh, there's going to be a puzzle where you do this, and you're like, wait. It's not... I'm not, like, annoyed by it, by the way. Just I don't want anyone to feel bad, because I have a lot of anxiety, so then I get feel bad, so don't... I appreciate the hints always. S Lake Hill, Seattle Hospital. I think this is it. Watch for a big red sign. I was trying to donate more, but my bank thinks it's a scam. Also, Kyler is a dork. Oh, Well, we appreciate the effort, and please don't... Uh, stress yourself don't out. Don't stress yourself out. I want everybody to have a good time. Comic Expo. I introduced Jackson to the joys of donation, and now there's no going back. S M H. Let me out. Trying to look for a safe way down. Here we go. That's. Definitely safer. <sighs> the last big thing I went to was C2E2. And I was like, oh, wow, what is this, like, like virus in China? Oh, well. Hmm. I don't know why I thought it, like, wasn't going to be a problem. No, I mean... I understand what you mean because it's like Ugh, stinks in here. I remember hearing about it and 
to be fair, like when you when you first told me that like we might go on lockdown, I thought you meant like literally like barricaded inside our homes, which is why I was like, what? Fucking. But I just remember I went to the grocery store for the last time, and I like kind of knew it was gonna be the last time, and I was like, I better, yeah, I better do this. It was before everyone took his. It was before everyone was taking it seriously. So. Wait, hold on. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking about it because it's probably stressful and everyone's just trying to chill. Sharps. So when I upgrade the machete, like what am I upgrading? Because usually, you, like when you're upgrading a bat or whatever, you're taping sharps. I would assume that you are reinforcing the oh. handle. Let's see. And where? I mean, like that's just. Um, I I want to I want to support your. Th it looks like that's what she does. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Prince Kyler. Oh, is this actually really important? Have you either of you watched Mr. Mr. Robot. Robot? It's is very good and very gay, and I highly recommend it if you're running out of quarantine shows. It's on Amazon Prime for free, Devil Company. Devil <laughs> Company. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I watched the first season, and then I like kind of just stopped because I don't know why. Yeah. I just didn't. I think I saw the first two seasons, maybe. Right. Sometimes a show is like really good, and for whatever reason... I... Oh, they ran away. Stalkers. Oh. Fuck. Stalkers? I think... I need to find a way out here. It's a stalker. They must hunt more um, secretively. Like, they must come up behind you or something. Oh. Because usually they're not very smart, but those reacted and ran away. Mm -hmm. So I feel like maybe they might be smarter. Um... After finishing watching uh, Avatar and Korra, The Legend of Korra, I am now re-watching re Killing Eve. And I want to watch season two of What We Do in the Shadows, but I'm trying to save that for when I finally get to see my boyfriend and we can watch it together. Mm. So, I don't know. Yeah. I've been having a good time watching shows where I know exactly what happens mm -hmm. because a the stress of having to pay attention to it is lowered because then I can turn it on and then immediately just be on TikTok for three hours. What? Oh. Yeah, I think I was talking about this this on another stream, but I've I have also I've just been struggling to like sit down and watch things. Mm -hmm. um, well, because when you're sitting down peacefully, like all of your thoughts are free. Mm hmm. They seem to be smart enough to not go towards the fire, so that option is eliminated. 
<laughs> they do not deserve your stealth. Oh yeah, Dark is really good. And I think the third season of that just came out, actually. But yeah, I feel like I've been getting a lot of like TV show recommendations from pe from other people who are like actually watching lots of things in quarantine. And I'm like, I have not watched many things at all. It's not for like lack of desire or because like the things don't sound interesting. It's just, I don't know, I've had a hard time with it. He's a crispified zombo. Better be. Hmm. <laughs> That's ADHD, baby. <laughs> I, it's, yeah, I... I have long known that I have focus issues. Um... I think it is very creepy that you can see them, like, their heads popping out from, like, behind corners and shit. Yeah. Okay, where's the screaming coming from? Um, I've been re-watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, and I'm curious as to what your favorite songs are. Do you have a favorite song? Um, You Stupid Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you ruined everything, you, you stupid, stupid, stupid bitch. Yeah. Just a stupid little bitch who ruins things and hurts the people she loves. Bitch. You're, You're a stupid, stupid bitch. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good one. Mm -hmm. They're all gone, so I'm just looking for supplies. And then we'll leave. Mm -hmm. Prince Kyler says, I think I will head off and attempt to continue the fan fiction I'm working on. Oh. Pleasure watching y'all and giving with everyone. Good luck with the zombie hunting. Also, kisses to Jackson. Aww. <laughs> Yay! Let us know what the uh, fan fiction is about when you get yeah, back. Yeah, dude, wait. Where's words with three three seven? Are they here? Are they okay? I they weren't feeling good. I haven't seen any posts from them, but there's the hospital. Not much further. I um, cause they were saying they weren't feeling good, so right. yeah. Looks like I have to jump. So, Wordsmith, if you watch this video, please tweet me so I can know. I think they were saying oh, that they got tests, but that it wasn't like they haven't figured out what's going on yet. Okay. Coming to stream to be called a stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, God. <gasps> okay. Head down to the street.
What are some other crazy ex-girlfriend songs? I feel like there were... Let's generalize about men. Oh, that's a good one, too. Let's generalize about men. Let's take one bad thing about one man and apply it to all of them. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the bits, Jen J. Peg. Hi, long time watcher, first time Twitcher. I hope I'm doing this right. You two are so wonderful. I lost it. It's gone. It's gone forever. <laughs> you two are so wonderful, and thanks for all the smiles over the years. Thank you so much for all the bits. God, these problems never end. Can you scroll down? It's because it's chat pause. Oh. Thanks. Um, oh, my friend, oh, oh, Proto Champ, thank you for the bits. My friend performed, oh, generalize about men and period sex for her final university performances and got the highest grade. Period sex, we're gonna have period sex. <laughs> that show's really good about somebody who's just kind of a piece of shit, mm -hmm. really genuinely trying their best not to be a piece of shit. It is about a woman who struggles with her mental health, and because of that, she does things that she's like, wants to be a good person, wants to be happy, but she doesn't know how to be happy. And, uh, thank you, Abby17. How? Yeah, I think, uh. <laughs> It's a good, I feel like it's a good example of how, like, you can you, really be trying, but if you're mentally ill, it's hard. And if you're mentally ill, there's a new set of challenges you have to deal with, and if you don't do the work, and, yeah, and also just, I mean, and even aside from the mental health angle, that also, like, you can, oh, finish your thought uh that you can have good intentions and fail utterly at execution and that also like you can be like oh i want to do better and then just keep making decisions that lead you to not the right place mm -hmm. um time to go because i think like i think anybody can relate to the feeling of saying like okay like this is it i'm gonna do blah Bloody blue, blue, like be a way out of here. here we go, and then you just don't do it. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> you just don't. It's not even like you tried and you just didn't do it. You just didn't do it. <laughs> Would you consider yourselves Twitch streamers or more YouTubers nowadays? Listen, I don't need labels. I just need a gun. I here we go. We just do whatever it is we want to do. Yeah. We just do whatever we want to do. Not a <laughs> Anything, please don't put me in a sewer level. Ah, sewer level. Why? I don't like sewer levels. Oh, no. Genuine question. Has anyone ever go gone, 
Wow, what a great sewer level. Genuine question. Do you think sewers, because everyone's dead, would be cleaner now? That would make sense. I mean, like, not like the garbage and stuff, because that's not going anywhere, but like, why would there be poop here? I think sewers have different, like, this might be a different type of sewer than a poop sewer. Hmm. I think we're in like a regular water runoff sewer. Oh, oh, gotcha. Mm hmm. Or, I don't know. Excuse me. Uh, oh, what, sh did you hear that? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right, where am I trying to go? So I can go, I came from there. I can go here. I can go here. But it seems as if I want to go here. Let's think. Do boxes float? Are there any boxes I can throw in the water? Hmm. Maybe I can just walk up to it and jump. Nope. Um. Oh. Wow, I hate this. Oh no. I oh. hate this. I don't like it. This is terrible. I don't like it. What? Is there... Alright, I'm ready for one hint. Yeah, we already went to that hole, by the way. No, no, no. I meant, um... Yeah, there's some things here. Watch the walls go up. Yeah, I know I have to go there, but I I need a box or something to get on top of. Oh, <laughs> get out I'm of an idiot. Get I'm stupid. Don't talk. Shh. No, no more. Okay. No, nope. I'm so stupid. <laughs> It's just like The Last of Us 1, where we had to move the box in the water. No, Mari, you don't. <laughs> um, but the whole YouTube versus Twitch thing, I, we started streaming more because, pretty much because of <sighs> quarantine, I guess. Like, had a lot to do with it. Uh, we uh, I don't like the sound of that. Get me the hell out of here. Is there, like, a giant fucking infected whale or something? I uh, hope it's an infected crocodile. That'd be cool. Not thematically on point, but whatever. No, it wouldn't it. make any sense in Seattle, no, but... CXGF? I don't know what that is. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? Oh, yeah, yes. I haven't seen all of it. I like the ending a lot. saying um uh, oh youtube versus twitch um i think so the atmosphere of youtube has become less friendly towards gameplay and twitch has become more f friendly towards gameplay mm -hmm. and also twitch does not suppress lgbt plus streamers from the algorithm yeah so that's definitely a plus y yes there are a lot of issues with twitch I won't argue that they don't, but we don't get suppressed yeah. for, like, using the LGBT plus tag, you But know? I, I think, uh, hospitals there. the most beneficial, the park. like, setup for us is streaming and then uploading the streams, because mm -hmm. then it's like, because no, most people don't go to Twitch to watch the VODs, they go, they watch the recordings on YouTube. And also YouTube is just, I like it. It makes me happy to have something there for people to always be able to easily find. Mm -hmm. It's like more searchable. Um, like if people are like looking through our old content, stuff like that. So we kind of get the best of both words, worlds by streaming first and then uploading later. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, what was I going to say? And also, I don't know, we just kind of just do whatever we feel like doing, because... Oh, shit. Uh... We can, we're getting close to the cult. Because I think as long as you do what you want to do, people can sense that happiness and sense that passion. And it's... <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it for this part. I'm yeah. just, I think I'm just gonna die. Yep. All right, P in peace, me. 